Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Project Ascension. Today we're playing a warrior type build. We're starting off with Charge, Rend, Battle Stance, and Blood Rage. We're going to go in here, check out the skill cards. we got Mortal Strike coming up at 40, Overpower, Fell Infused Weapon. This guy is awesome, especially we're going to do a two-hander, one single two-hander. This Raging Lunge is kind of going to be the base premise of the whole build. Deals 327% of weapon damage to a primary target and 218 up to 7 targets in front of you. That's going to be great for PvP. And it's going to be great for like mana storms, dungeons, anything like that. And then basically just takes over the uh, enraged bonuses for uh, Raging Blow there. We got Whirlwind. We got Execute. Hop over to the Talents. Whirlwind with World Rage. It's going to give us Blood Rage. We got Gurbashi Blood Surge. Dealing damage with a couple of our core abilities. Gives us a blow, uh, Raging Blow charge, which will tie right into our lunge there. Sun and Death. Hopefully we can get the third one of that. That's always just kind of handy. Uh, we get in for the kill, increases duration of rend by 6 seconds, and your Mortal Strike refreshes duration of rend, which can trigger Taste for Blood, which we have right here. We got Strength for Arms, this also helps out with the Overpower, extra damage on the Mortal Strike, and less Rage, sacking twice. Uh, anger Management for the Rage, and then End Rage here, hopefully we get the last one of this as well. And then I'm going to go into the Mystic Enchants here, I didn't go with these yet, but I think most of these are probably stay similar. Um... This will probably change into something better. Um, some strength here, some rage. I might even get rid of this, depending on if I want to keep this one or the skill card. Uh, I don't really have anything special for the rest of this. This is just stamina, agility, and then some energy, which actually I'll probably get rid of this. I would like to get some more rage in general. I don't know if I have anything for it, though. There's really not too many things on this server anymore for this type of stuff. I guess I could probably pop one of these... In there for my main ability so we'll figure that out and we'll, uh, we'll shoot along to what abilities we can get we're starting out with this stuff here mainly just because i don't want to have to rely on re rolling this down the line um and there we go uh we got the new helmet that they just added recently for the boa and then all this gear here and going with the single two-handed axe the old reaper um, so we will pop our little xp thing here and see what kind of abilities we get down the line check in a couple times and then test it out at level 60. All right, so far we are ripping. For some reason, my uh, fell, fell infused weapon wasn't like procking right away, but then eventually I started going and it was doing like probably 80% of my damage. Um, and then we just got level 20 to see what ability we get. What the hell is this? Interesting. Uh, we got this righteous defense, which is kind of also poo poo, but there we go. We got this. That's good. We also got our taste for blood, uh, whirlwind, uh, and. A couple of these talents. I went with the two hands uh, specialization because I'm going to stick with the mystic enchant for the rage. That should probably hold me en enough to uh, keep it up. We also got the in for the kill and uh, four out of five for enrage. So hopefully we get the fifth one for that one. Boys, we just hopped into a little BG action. We got no charge, no slow, just damage. Uh, and only really these couple abilities here, but that should be enough. This guy is level 29. Great. All right. Well, maybe we will stay away from that guy. Go after this guy here. Get that rend off. The whirlwind on the way over and they're all overpowered. Ooh, yeah. They are doing some damage to us. Oh, I think this guy's just been slapping me the whole time. But we got a level already. Almost exactly a full level. Holy shit. Proved Thunderclap. Well, we don't have that. Does that mean we're going to get it? I don't know. Next level, just from running around. Old Scream, that's a good new ability. Ooh, do pretty good damage so far with this other guy helping me out. A lot of the damage, honestly, is from this fell fused weapon. I don't know if it's gotten nerfed since last time I used it, but that thing's always been insane. I begin to Hell Scream awfully, uh, an awful lot too. That seems to be a pretty good ability. You got Malice, what's that? Crit Strike, alright, yeah, we'll take that, why not? Make sure these are all good. Let's uh, sneak a kill off this guy while we're waiting. Oh, he's going to sneak a kill off us. Holy shit. <laughs> well, never mind on that one, boys. We got a couple boys over here. Let's see if we get this guy. Oh, we're just going to get stun locked, probably. Ooh, hit him with the overpower. Nice. Can we get in here again with a hell scream? I think we did. Yep, there we go. Do a little bit of damage there. Can we sneak in here and get another kill? That guy's dead. Hit up this guy. Nice. Teamwork. 
Ooh, we got another man over here. Couple man. Oh, this guy's doing some damage. This guy's got Titan's Rip already? Nice. I didn't know he did it early. Oh, we got him, but we're probably gonna die. 12 health. Holy shit. Oh, and we got Execute. Perfect. Executes a banger of an ability. What the hell is this? Oh, I've seen this before. This is neat. Um, but we don't really have that, so... If we get Blade Toss, the Glaive Toss, cool, but... I need some goddamn helicals, boys. Go. Okay, let's just uh, do some damage from the back lines. We're taking AOE damage pretty heavily. We'll do another, another health screen. Whirlwind. Oh, we got us. Oh, way back up. Another big gripe, though, I've been having, boys. I don't know if you guys noticed. Is whenever you spawn on either side, unless you come down this way, like you always take fall damage. It's kind of annoying because now you're already like down 20% health just from this little drop there. They should just make that not fall damageable, if that makes sense. Let's see this guy. We need a charge, boys. Oh, look at this guy. Can't get him the house room. Nice. Right, let's get flag. Ooh, and we got our sun and death. Nice. I would like for these abilities to tell me which one this was. Because it just says infuse with fell. Dang, look at my guy's health. Oh, we got him! Haha, <laughs> got him, boys. Sweet flag carrier right here. Oh, get back here, bitch. Can't reach nobody. The quality's so low. Oh, this guy got it. Come here, little bitch. There we go. Nice. Oh, that's a guy. I thought that was a wolf. Oh, we got Raging Lunge. Let's go. Pop those around. Can I spam this? Oh my god, I can. That's sweet. I still need a charge, though. I do some good damage so far, though. Right, come on, boys. Have a nice little fight here. Ooh, nice slap on him with that uh, raging lunge there. We need some heals, goddamn. I don't think we got the uh, raging blow with the whirlwind yet. That's probably why we weren't able to use it earlier. Oh, did we win? Yeah, nice. Good shit, boys. And we got level 32. We got 8 kills. Nice. Not too bad. 8 kills with no charge. I, I'll take it. And some random junk. Alright. And we made it to 60 so far. We got a bunch of gear that we just had kind of hanging out in our bags. Most of it's, I think, it's just leather and agility, but it's a lot better than what we had. We actually got this guy out of the bank. We've had this for a while. Uh, a couple of PvP things here. So we basically ended up with a similar build, um, mainly focusing around the warrior type stuff. We got concussive blow, which is pretty sweet. Scatter. Um, we got a battle charge, which we really needed a charge. We got shimmer. Uh, we got some extra CC here and there. Shadow step. I've been using this forbidden technique, which is kind of like a shadow step. And then it teleports you back when you're done, which is pretty sweet because then you can hop in, do damage, and get out. Um, and you can also just click off the buff when you're ready to teleport out. Uh, we got a lot of AoE here. This Ground Slam does a lot of damage. Actually, let's head over here real quick. Um, that and Thunderclap usually do a lot of damage. If I look at... I don't think there's anything on here. Um, but if I look at some of the DPS meters from like Battlegrounds, especially Battlegrounds because of all the mobs, hitting with these couple abilities just does so much damage. And then usually the next most popular is Execute. does a ton of damage. Um, being able to stack that up with a lot of Rage is good as well. Um, and then basically I also set up some little tell me when things here. So I have each of the buffs here with the corresponding 
abilities, and then we also have the execute for sudden death. So basically, we pop that as much as we can, as often as we can. Then when we're ready, we hit the rend, get the uh, rage and blow stacks up there with the. Let's pop that again. Let's see, there we go. The Gurabashi Blood Surge. That's going to give us uh, extra damage with the penetration and no rage on the raging blow. Um, basically, just keep up with the execute. And then we're going to get stacks of this guy here, Strength of Arms. That stacks up twice for a Mortal Strike. And once we see that two, we'll hit that. Mortal Strike will also give us some abilities, uh, some uh, charges for Raging Lunge. We also have the Rend. Keep that up for the Overpower, which is Taste for Blood, which is this guy right here. Um, so basically, we just cycle through these ones. We want to try to get this one to two. That one when I have nothing else to use. And then this one pretty commonly as well. So there we go. We get a little bit of a rotation going. Uh, and then when I'm kind of stuck out of anything, everything's on cooldown, I'll hit up one of these uh, AoEs, usually Whirlwind if I'm just single target, or if I have one or two. There's a lot more I'll be probably cycling in this Ground Slam and the Thunderclap, and then also the Hell Scream for the extra bleed, so we can kind of start up a little rotation. If they get far away, I also have some stuff over here that's for our Glaive Toss, so we have some random things that we picked up for... Uh, cooldown and damage that is up here. Battle Glaive extra damage and resets to cooldown, and then this guy extra damage there. So sweet uh, to kind of get a little extra AOE, not AOE rather, a little extra damage on the range side. But other than that, it's been playing really fun so far. I haven't got too much done at 60. I was in the battleground queue, but it just was not popping. So I've been uh, just kind of tweaking it. Went through about a hundred different um, scrolls of fortune. Got mostly warrior type abilities here, a lot of attack power, a lot of extra damage, crit. Um, this thing's pretty cool, extra slow. Demolisher, that one's really good. Um, a lot of just a random stuff here and there that kind of adds up to the main function and core of the build. We also picked up the Maelstrom, so if we get anything that we could tie into that, that might be handy. We have a healing touch here, but that one doesn't really work with Maelstrom, which kind of sucks. So we'll uh, keep tweaking this out and uh, let's get into a battleground, hopefully. Maybe we can join random. Let's try and do a Rathi or War Song, but there we go. Oh, I think because we're in combat. We also got the Gurubashi Berserker, which I didn't really want to shoot for. I just did build on that one recently, but I ended up not doing it because it was not that good. But, oops. Oh, there we go. Leave queue by accident. Can we get a requeue? Um, we were doing a couple of battlegrounds before 16. We were absolutely just slapping. Um, especially when you have a team to kind of back you up. Look at this guy. First off the bat, let's see. Get it close enough to him. We also have the uh, Piercing Howl, which is really good AoE. Slow. Alright, I guess we'll fight this guy. I didn't really want to waste our charge and everything off that one guy. We also picked up the uh, Frost Shield here. I was gonna die this guy, yeah. The uh, Ice Barrier, that's what it's called. Cool little ability there back in the day, used to use that all the time. The only thing I noticed about also with the battlegrounds, especially once you get to higher levels, is there's you get into those people that are just CC and kite the shit out of you, especially as a melee as like a warrior build. Oh my goodness. Maybe if you're playing something a little bit more agile, like a rogue, um, with a shadow step, stuff like that. Um, more of these type abilities are probably better, but as a uh, big fucking two hander, it's kind of hard to keep up with these guys that are dipping all over the place. Oh wow, this is a new uh, new map here for the uh, Rathi Bastion. Pretty sweet. We also picked up the uh, Mark of the Wild there. I didn't get to get the uh, talent point for it, but... Another thing I would like to see is if maybe we can have some sort of uh, extra thing to re-roll some of these guys that are like 1, 2 out of whatever it is, 2 out of 3, 1 out of 5. Maybe an extra button or something so you can... So you can uh, re-roll for filling up those ones instead of getting other ones. Like, I got all of these that are half full, and if they were full, they'd be a hell of a lot better. Especially this guy. It's like one of the key uh, key damage modifiers on this build. Alright, boys, we're playing a little Eye of the Storm. We got a little bit of gear going. We got a little bit of a build finally going, too. We're getting into some of these guys that have freaking builds that are nothing but CC, but so far, not too bad. We're gonna take these guys out. Oh, no, we're gonna get got right here. Let's see, give them some CC. Let me get out of here, boys. I don't think I'll be able to. Wait, so take this guy with me. Oh, 
Oh, so so close. Look at him. My doubts on him. Are these boys over here. What's going on. Oh, they got me. Jeez, pull this guy over here. Let's see if we can steal this flag. Oh, we got him. That boy has been insane to try to kill. He's been just CCing like crazy. He keeps Hallow up terroring. He like has so much freaking uh absorbed too. I was trying to queue for some dungeons, but the queue it was just not popping. I was in there for like 20 minutes. Just needed a healer. I was thinking about doing like a healing build, but you need a lot of the good good uh synergies. Let's see if we get another kill before we win. See once in a while I get a little bit rage starved with this build because of the execute. Alright, so this is what we're rolling with at the moment. We ended up getting this. I think I showed that earlier. Um, still nothing else here. We got Rampage, which is pretty sweet, and Concussion and Blow. Um, still didn't get anything for Maelstrom, but I'm hoping maybe uh, I get something out of this bag here. Oh, sweet. We got Aspect of the Beast. We can definitely use that. Hey, boys, we finally got in one. I think my buffs are wearing off, it took so long. Alright, let's see how we're doing. We have all PvP gear, but either way, it should still be good. Holy shit, this guy's got almost 20k. Come here, little shit. We're really pulling the whole dungeon here. Now maybe we're getting to a spot where they can't cast. Yep. Too bad that all these guys are sludges. I'll take them out real quick. A couple quick executes. It's nice seeing these numbers a little bit larger because it's not dwindled down by all the PvP uh, debuffs that they have. Oh my god, how many times did I kill this thing? Need some of them glowing mushrooms to get us zooming around. Dang, they made it all the way to the boss already. Alright, let's get another little raging bash. How you guys thought I was going to say blow? Come on. Right, one down. We're going to take out this little water elemental guy. Nice. Blade Storm.
Nice. The jawbreaker. Oh shit. We could do a couple mana storms. Oh, we gotta start from scratch. Oh, what the hell? Okay. Welcome to the mana store. I don't know how far you plan on going, but good luck. <laughs> Take this guy out real quick. I'm pretty sure we have to buff every time or two. Yeah. Oh shit, rip that guy. Let's take out this big bitch. Oh my god, she almost there already. Sweet. Kill all those guys. Kill this doge. Oh, this guy's got all the health. 37k. Oh, he's got none. Oh shit, where's this at? The dead mines. Where are we going? Oh, up. Okay. Wink. I think we're stuck. Um. <laughs> well, uh, I think we got stuck there, boys. How can I get out of here? I'm guessing we may just have to hearth. Yeah, I guess we'll just go back to Stormwind. I don't know if we can hit leave. Oh, I think we can just hit leave Mana Storm. Uh, leave the Mana Storm. There we go. Sweet, well, let's see what kind of gear we got. Any, any goodies. Well, boys, looks like we got a couple little things just to sell here and uh, get most of the build ready. I'm probably going to tweak this one a little bit. I did also save it as a spec, so maybe I can come back to it in the future and uh, tweak it some more or just play with it some more because this build actually is pretty fun uh, and it actually works pretty well compared to some of the other ones I've been not getting too much RNG with. Ooh, that is sweet, White Wrecking Crew. I'm pretty sure that'll still work with uh, Two-Hander. Um, if not, then that's kind of a waste, but that's alright. Uh, block and dodge, I don't really want that. Um, but yeah, so I'll continue to probably just tweak this on my own and uh, playing around with it. Keep this as like a backup. But if you liked the video, don't forget to leave a like for me. I really appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button. Catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.